Ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's state visit to the USA, President and CEO of the US-India Strategic Partnership Forum, Mukesh Akhi, spoke to ANI and talked about how India has to deal with China and how technology can help India to have an upper hand in the diplomatic relationship. He also talked about how India will become the fifth country in the world if it can secure a deal with the USA regarding the production of GE jet engines. Well, you have to understand, from an India perspective, uh, it shares a 3,000 kilometer long border with China, which China doesn't agree with the border itself. India has to deal with the aggressive China, a, a basically a dominant China. We've had soldiers killed on both sides of the border itself. So India needs to have technology. It needs to have uh, enough resources to deal with that assertive posture of China. India's supply from Russia is, is drying out, so it needs other sources, and is focused on building most of the stuff in India. So what we are seeing is Biden administration agreeing to transfer some complex technology to India so you can manufacture and India becomes a self-reliant defense area. So yes, there is a alignment on the positioning posture of China and how to deal with China. Well, I think you can break this down to three broad categories. One is geopolitics. Second is on the economy side, and third is on technology. So when you look at the concrete deliverables, obviously U.S. is looking to create more jobs in the U.S. So we do expect some orders on defense equipment coming from India side, so it kind of helps U.S. companies uh, from a job creation perspective. India is looking for transfer of technology. So we do expect something on GE engines, where a deal will happen, where India can make G jet engines in India. So if that happens, then India will be the fifth largest country, fifth country in the world making hot engines for planes. Then on the geopolitics side, I think it's about messaging. The US, India are aligned to deal with the aggressive, assertive China. And I think that's where you see a strong messaging coming in both by President Biden and Prime Minister Modi. News Desk, Global.